What I've really enjoyed and found interesting is getting more used to refactoring code and using private methods in code, mainly because I really like things looking neat and once you refactor something it's more readable, code's shorter and I just really like how it ends up looking. On Monday we did a code review based on uh, the previous uh, week's Friday challenge. I had a lot of aha moments um, when I got a chance to, um, to see how a more experienced developer would um, implement uh, those user stories. Absolutely. Whereas before I would never um, think of feature testing, I, I didn't even know what it was to be honest. Um, now, after two weeks um, of test-driven development, um, I can't imagine building anything without um, producing a feature test and expecting, uh, for example, a client to provide me with user stories to build that feature test. Sometimes when you work with pairs, one or the other, one is more ahead than the other and it's helpful to explain. I've been on both sides of that, so it makes you make sure that you know what you're talking about, that you understand what you've done before when you explain it to someone else. During this week's challenge, which was to produce an, a working Oyster card system, towards the end when our uh, um, Oyster card class was quite bloated of doing a lot of um, different things, uh, we were then asked to um, extract out a journey class and that to me it felt like well why did we make that decision earlier on uh, but only through uh, through going through some hardship and um, actually pushing on when it got really tough uh, then we actually realized that the lesson is is that you know we become much more uh, competent at doing these things and recognizing that yes in the real world these things will happen nothing will be that easy when you first start out so um, overcoming really tricky uh, tricky situations um, and being able to, to do that was um, re felt really really good so um, I do feel that my progress has um, has increased immensely since compared to this time last week